In this video, I'm going to walk you through a simple and easy solution to creating a 3D or stereoscopic effect in Photoshop. This is very easy to do and does not require a great deal of time. It's very popular and I still get questions about this. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my background layer or whatever layer you're going to be creating the effect on. You'll notice I'm using a black and white image here, but it does not have to be a black and white image. It can be color or black and white and the effect will work either way. So we're going to take this background image and I'm going to duplicate it. And you can do that several ways, but I like using Control J on the keyboard shortcuts. You can also click and drag it down to this new layer icon. So now I have two layers, which are duplicates of each other, and I'm going to click on the bottom layer, and I'm actually going to unlock it. As a background layer, you'll need to do this before you can edit it and then click on it and go to blending options. Under blending options, I'm simply going to turn off the green and the blue channels and hit OK. Now I'm going to go up to my topmost layer. Also go to blending options and I'm going to turn off the opposite channels. I'm going to turn off the red channel and hit OK. Now you'll notice that nothing much has happened but if I click on my image with my move tool and then use my arrow keys to shift the image either left or right, in this case I did four clicks, shifted the image slightly to the right, now you'll see the pronounced 3D effect happening on the image. And the reason for that is because we have separated our channels out into two different layers and then when we move one layer the color channels shift and we get this nice stereoscopic effect, this 3D glasses looking effect. Now the one downside to this is you'll notice that now that I had to shift one of my layers I do get an unwanted border on the left and you can compromise by cropping or by stretching your image. There are various ways to get around this. Usually I would just hit C and crop and then I will have no border and still have my 3D effect on the image. You can do this with text, you can do this with images, you can do this with pretty much anything you want to inside of Photoshop using these simple and quick steps. And you can create an action for it and then just play that action in the future and have it automatically done for you. Hope you enjoy.